So what is up guys welcome back just wanted to do a quick little update video over the Galaxy S7 Edge if you are a long time subscriber of mine you might be seen one video where I told you that this is the best ROM for the Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge or any kind of Galaxy S7 because uh, even though the Galaxy S7 is Exynos model you can only install it on a F or a FD but this ROM you can install it on any kind of Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge and this is the return of the ROM after Aurora version 19 it has been shifted to a Galaxy S8 base now after that it just became uh, another Galaxy S8 ROM there was nothing more to it but now it has made a return with the version 25 and trust me this is the best thing you can find because literally adding more features and making custom apps to enhance those features really box down the performance of this rom but this rom has just tons of optimization so you don't even feel it apps just open insane fast as you can see you can just tap it and it's ready to open just like that again if i close it tap it open but there is no bixby voice so if you want to enable the bixby voice you can just follow my quick little video over here by pressing the i button on the top but there is Bixby Vision and all other goodies from the Galaxy S8 but as you can see going to the menu reveals many more apps now this is basically the thing I was going to release for the Galaxy S7 Edge which is like the J7 Max or J7 Pro series port where it has all of the features such as the USB backup and SC care now I made a video on that where I ported half of the apps and just made a separate video on it but it doesn't really matter whoever releases the ROM at the end of the day it's just that we want to deliver great ROMs to you guys as you can see you do get the S secure from the J series or the Prime series as you can see you get the lock and masking of the apps and you also get the secure wi-fi so basically if you don't know what is secure wi-fi if you are not sure about if anyone is tracking your ip address or anyone can install malware into your android device through the wi-fi you can basically just turn it on and it will provide a safety net over it there is also usb backup provided over here so you can just plug in your usb otg and it will take a whole backup of your device then you get the smart manager yep you don't have any kind of device maintenance in this thing so smart manager is just carried on from the chinese versions of the samsung devices or you can say as c models such as c C7, C9 or anything which is sold in China so as you can see you do get the battery but in battery you also get S power flanning from the J series and the prime series as you can see you can reserve battery for the calls very handy feature you can extend your battery time as you can see I am running on level 2 now basically there is no explanation for this device but you can take it as assumption that device lands on itself you can really feel a difference on level 3 where it hibernates the apps which you don't really use and the last one which is the most important I still don't know why it's not provided in all of the Samsung devices forward calls on no battery at all you have the performance mode storage memory now i guess this was like a j7 max port but as you can see there is no s clean over here if you want to get that again press the i button i have made a video on that too there is no ultra data saving over here but if you own a s device you don't even have to care about it block calls and messages directly over here just allow all the permissions pretty nice touch and you get the app management now in app management the permissions normal stuff app lock you already get it notifications again the normal stuff but you get a very handy option of auto run app apps where you can manage the apps which auto run on your boot as you can see i have already turned off everything which i don't need as i said you earlier amazing rom again if you go to the menu you get the samsung music from china or you can say milk music as before as you can see it also has a store but if you want original galaxy s7 you can just tap this device and you will get the normal music player as you can see but in china they have an extra layer of coolness it has a very nice background just like the normal stuff even if you expand the image it has a circle background and you also get the option to enable the upscaler through over here air command is provided but it seems to be not working over here just right now asset ports don't like air command but the developer is also trying to put the face unlock from the galaxy asset or the j7 max going to the display you get the outdoor mode as before nothing new going to the screen mode you get more options such as a full screen color balance and it works just flawlessly as you can see you can't make it through the camera but yeah the screen color is changing even you can adjust the screen edge balance now this takes a whole lot of time something around 15 minutes so i'm not going to show you and again sorry if i'm just going too fast cause this rom has just everything again all of the features are just same but led indicator toggle has been added also the touch key light duration just because we have hardware keys but you do get this app called brevent i'm not sure what it does but i guess it reaches the apps in background as you can see so i'm not going to comment about that but you do get a dedicated app of aurora settings over here as you can see and it doesn't have any kind of features which will just bug off your device so such as status bar settings just the normal stuff if you go to the advancement settings you get free themes option yep if you enable it it will not revert back after five minutes custom key options custom gestures you get the advanced power menu you also get the options to disable the newer ones such as the one with the blur as you can see if i go over 
over here right now you are back in the lollipop days and just the normal stuff you get the advanced menu such as phone apn settings and other stuff i'm not going into the deep and otherwise you just get a galaxy s8 board with everything almost working guys thanks for watching this was a quick little video of the aurora version 25 and yep this is my new daily driver hope you guys enjoyed and if you found this helpful please drop a like see you in the next one peace